Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. I'm in the middle of the Saskatchewan bald prairie, so I apologize for any wind interference on the mic. I can only do so much when it comes to Mother Nature. I can't control her, unfortunately. But in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to test the texture of your soil, which will then better help you manage your soil based on what you have. Now, if you didn't watch my videos on how to manage a clay soil versus sandy soil, that's fine. This is going to help you identify if you have a clay soil or if you have a sandy soil. What we're going to be doing is something called a ribbon test. Now, there is a sediment test in my ebook that I go through and I tell you guys how to do that. This is for people who don't want to handle the soil and find it icky. <laughs> I don't prefer that method. That is not the ideal way to analyze the soil, mostly because organic material and clay doesn't always necessarily come apart from each other very easily. And when it comes to silty sand, I mean, it's just, it's less than ideal. So this is the preferred soil scientist way of doing things. So I wanna teach you how to do it this way. If you wanna see me do the sediment test, I can. It's just not as accurate, surprisingly, as playing in the mud. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take a handful of soil and you're gonna to wanna to add some water. So you're gonna to wanna to remove all the organic material from that. So things such as sticks and twigs and roots, you wanna remove those from the profile and you just wanna have your clump as well. You wanna add enough water to this clump that when you squeeze it, it doesn't leak. So you see how it's just normally holding itself together. This is kind of what you're looking for. Now what you're gonna do is, you can smell it if you want, because that's a good indicator of whether or not it's rotten. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that ball and you're going to take your index finger and well, the palm of your hand, you're gonna place the clump of soil kind of right here. Then you're gonna take your thumb and you're actually going to push gently but firmly down and you're gonna to try to make a ribbon. And what this is going to do is it's going to give you a length. So you're gonna do this until it breaks. And then that broken piece is what you're gonna test. So this is all I'm getting. You can see it's already starting to flop around. And so this is about one inch, I would say. And this I would classify as a loam, just a straight loam. If this was bigger, like three, four inches, it would probably be classified as a clay. And if it's falling apart before you can even get any ribbon at all, then it's a sandy soil. So that will help you manage and assess your soil based on what you need. But you can see every time I'm only getting about one inch. And I go over in my book exactly what these ribbons look like and stuff. So this is how we test it. This is a loam soil, which is very characteristic of Saskatchewan prairies. It's a healthy soil to plant in. It's got good color. It doesn't have any crazy smells. Now, some people will do this and I don't advise doing it because there are things in soils that you definitely do not want to eat. Um, but you can take a small piece of this and actually rub it on your teeth, which some soil scientists do do. Um, and that will tell you how much sand content it is in here. But if you want to try to avoid that, the best way to do that is actually just to take a small pinch Put it in the palm of your hand and add just a little bit of water and then actually roll it around in your fingertips. And from here, you're gonna be able to actually feel how much sand is in that content. So you can take the amount of pinch you took and assess it against how much granular you have in your fingertips, which will give you a good idea of how much sand content is in there. And it's actually relatively low for this. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments below if you tried a ribbon test and what your results came out at. And of course, be sure to grab that ebook if you want a little bit more detail on how to better assess your soil. I will talk to you guys next time.